Nemo to the Melbourne Press Club. Thank you very, very, very much. It blows my mind. I thought uh, most of the uh, old journalists in Sydney had probably forgotten me. Sort of go visit my grave somewhere. But it, it, it's just incredible. Because uh, I, as many Australian journalists, have always, uh, we've always rated Australian journalists uh, among the best in the world, or the best in the world. So I'm not really sort of saying, gee, I'm among the best in Australia. I'm among the best in the world. Tremendous thanks to you know who, Rupert Murdoch. Uh, between television and newspapers all over the world, which thankfully I represented. Thank you, Rupert. Uh, my God, what a crawler I am, I know, but it's all true. It is all true. I've had, uh, here I am, 56 years away from uh, Australia. And I still get a tremendous tug in my heart about old Oz, particularly when I think about all the, the guys in the Daily Mirror. Look at them, my God. The police rounds. It was like the it was like the Vatican South. I remember my first day uh, working at the, uh, the Daily Mirror. I was, uh, I met a very important person there. He was <coughs> Ezra Norton, the owner. I was backing in with all the secretary's tees like this and suddenly the door opened. So I fell through, turned around and oh my God, yes. The tea all over Ezra Norton's tailor-made, immaculately tailor-made suits. In, in fact, it was kind of in a neighborhood of his uh, midriff and further south. And he was in pain, a la the boiling, boiling tea. So my start-up in the Daily Mirror was not what you'd call auspicious. <laughs>